Hi booktube! My name is Sarah and welcome to the Bookish Knitter. Today I am coming to you with a daily reading update. Today is the 26th of July and it's about 8 o'clock at night so it's a little bit later in the evening. I am going to just kind of give you a brief rundown about what's been going on. Um, share with you, I'm going to do a screen share thing to show you what books I'm reading and then show you my knitting that I've been working on. So yeah, things have been good. I feel good. Um, it looks like we finally might have some my kidney stuff under control a little bit. Um, I had a procedure done yesterday that was incredibly unpleasant, <laughs> but it got some of the fluid that I've been carrying in my stomach off. That's all I'm going to tell you. You can figure out how that was done. <laughs> really big needle um <laughs> so anyway that was done yesterday um and it's just been today's just been a relaxing day and this weekend's going to be relaxing I have another procedure coming next week that I'll talk about then right now I don't want to think about it because I don't have to so yeah um I've been doing a lot of reading um I think I mentioned in my last little video that I DNF'd all the books that I was reading and I'm now reading basically just some category romance books because Garb August is starting next week and I'm just kind of really in the mood for a lot of category romance. So I'm going to keep this video short because my nurse is going to come back to do vitals and stuff for the evening. And uh, But I wanted to get this filmed first. So I'm going to show you guys the books that I'm currently reading. And we'll be right back. All right, my friends. So I'm actually sitting over in my bed now because it's a bit more comfortable. But <laughs> hope you can't see me that well. <laughs> it's not the prettiest background right now. Which is why I'm doing this share screen thing. Um, so let me show you what I'm currently reading. Yes, I have the Christmassy background still here because it is still doing, we are still doing Christmas in July. So speaking of that, the first book that I'm reading is a holiday book. Now, um, the amount of these that I've read, so I'm at 27% of this book. This is as of this morning. So I've read a bunch today. So right now I am reading A Haven for Christmas by Patricia Davids. This is the fourth book in the North Country Amish series. And this one is super cute. So it is about a man who is uh, non-Amish and he's actually a recovering alcoholic. He was in the military and he um, has kind of been having a bit of a hard go of it. And he decides to go up and visit his friend in Northern Maine. And while on the way there, an accident happens on the road um, that involves one of the animals for this Amish family's uh, farm. She's a widow, our, our female lead, and um, he agrees to kind of stay on and help them, you know, at the farm, essentially at this dairy farm. And the story goes from there. Now, I know it's completely unrealistic because there is no way that there would be a relationship between an Amish person and, and a non-Amish person. So I'm interested to see how much this, uh, where this one's going to go, but Patricia Davids is such a great author. I am really, really enjoying this one, actually. Um, it's a very sweet story and it does say Christmas, but it's not like super, super Christmassy as of yet. Only a few things have actually um, been mentioned. Uh, the next one that I'm reading is another um, love inspired book, which is, of course, these faith based romances. And uh, this is Tracking Stolen Treasures by Lisa Phillips. It's book number 10 in the Canine Search and Rescue series. So this one is about a woman who's an FBI agent. She's gone to this resort um like a ski kind of resort like i want to say i think vale is canadian like um like sunday like wherever the sundance film festival is like aspen or something like that to this big gala because there's these thieves that are stealing jewels and replacing them with fake jewels and selling the real ones and so anyway she's there and she's being targeted and there is a local police officer with his canine dog and it's a cute story i'm liking it so far um, and last but not least, um, well, I am reading a Baby Stars Club book, but outside of those, I'm reading Colton's Body of Proof, which is the third book in the Colton's of New York series by Karen Whitten. Um, this is about our main couple is a couple that were together in high school. Then he got in trouble with the law and actually went to prison. And he's been out for quite some time. He married. His wife passed away, but she had a lot of money. So he runs this foundation now to help troubled teens so they don't end up in the same situation. And our female lead has been searching for her best friend for 16 years. When she was 16, she this friend just disappeared. And then at the start of our story, she thinks she sees her on the New York subway. And the two of these people end up teaming up together to see, you know, what's happening. So, so far, it's pretty good. But anyway, guys, that is it. That's what I'm reading. Not a very long clip, but I hope you guys enjoyed this. Um, and I'll be right back.
So the last thing I wanted to show before I let you go is I have been doing a lot of knitting. Now I've also been doing some cross stitch, but I find the cross stitch actually harder to work on because I need more space and I don't have a lot of space. So the knitting has just been so much easier. So I actually have my husband bringing me some more knitting stuff tomorrow, but I'm almost done this pair of socks that I'm working on you guys. So I thought I'd just very quickly show you. So I'm already into the foot of the second sock. Um, I will probably get this done tomorrow. So I'm super stoked. So yeah, I will put a little stretch marker here and then I will show you guys tomorrow. But anyway, that's it. No idea how long this video is because I have yet to actually put in the me talking about the books part of it yet. <laughs> um, thank you guys all so much for your support. You have no idea how much it means to me. Um, this has been a difficult process, but you, my family, everything is making it so much easier not easier but more tolerable if you will so I appreciate it I appreciate you I appreciate you guys watching and commenting and liking and subscribing and all the things so I will talk to you guys hopefully tomorrow bye everybody